It's Carrie from Top of the Hill Fitness. Today, Anita is helping us out with a short total body strength workout. It's eight exercises that target all the major muscle groups, sustained for 30 seconds each. Anita will do two rounds. You can start with one round and work up to three to build strength. And we've got artwork by Sarah Gen that Shane will talk about at the break between rounds. The first exercise is push-ups. You can choose to do these on your knees or a full push-up. And get going for 30 seconds of push-ups. Trying to maintain nice form. You don't have to do these at a frantic pace. I'm just trying to slowly build strength. And Anita's showing you how you can go down to your knees if this is feeling unsustainable for 30 seconds. Next exercise is mountain climbers with a walking pace. So Anita's just taking a pause with each step, working the quad muscles here. You're halfway done. Take a little break. Next exercise is a one leg hip raise. We'll transition halfway through. Starting on one side, and we're doing a hip raise uh, for hamstring strength. We'll probably get about eight repetitions in before we transition to the other side. Okay, now switch to the other side to finish off the 30 seconds. Next exercise is a dead bug. This is a good exercise for core strength. Um, so try to follow along with Anita if you've never done this before. Opposite arm and leg are straightening out uh, from the tabletop position. And then you transition to the opposite arm and leg. Next exercise is the superwoman. From your stomach, raising up the arms and the legs to get some back strength here. Trying to hold a bit when you're in the raised position and letting down gently. We're gonna do plank ups next. So starting from a full raised plank position and going down to an elbow plank and then back up again, trying to remember to alternate which, which arm you're starting with on each repetition. This is a good one for shoulder and arm and core strength. Next exercise is good mornings. Okay, arms up, elbows out, and you're hinging forward from the waist, keeping a straight back and using your hamstrings and glutes to raise yourself back up again to the starting position. Give your glutes a little squeeze at the top too.
Last exercise in this round is calf raises. So just toes pointed forward first. We'll do that for about 10 seconds. Raising up, lowering down. And now let's transition to toes pointed inwards. And for the last 10 seconds, toes pointed outwards. We're gonna take a one minute break between sets. Hi, this is Shane. I just wanted to say a few words about Sarah Gen's artwork. One of the things I love about Sarah's work is of course the cleanliness of line and composition that defines minimalism. Minimalism as it relates to art isn't that different from how it relates to design. In design, you don't want superfluous stuff getting in the way of an object's ability to do its job. By titling this series New Alphabet, I think Sarah is saying that these could potentially function as objects that have a purpose as well, some sort of system of coding. Something else I love about these is that they are very clearly handmade when you're up close to them. From afar, you can appreciate them for their supple form and shape, up close, you can see the irregularity and imperfections that make it a handmade piece of art. Okay, just 10 seconds until we're back onto the push-ups. And start up the push-ups. Anita's starting in full push-up position. Whatever you can maintain for 30 seconds, do that. Halfway there. Next exercise is a walking mountain climber. And start. Take that little pause. So we're not doing this at a frantic pace. Thinking about your quad strength, how powerful you are. And you're halfway there. We'll be back on the mat next for the one legged hip raise. Starting on one side, raising up, working on the hamstrings and the glutes. About five more seconds till we transition. Okay, and transition to the other side. Raising up, giving a little squeeze to the glutes at the top, and lowering down gently. Next up is the dead bug. Okay, and just alternating arm and leg, straightening them out. So left leg and right arm get straightened out and then come back to the starting position. Right arm, left leg, left leg, right arm. Thinking about pressing your abs down into the mat. And next up is the superwoman. Raising up the arms and the legs at the same time, giving a little squeeze when you're in the raised position and lowering back down. This one's great for your back and core stability. 10 seconds to go. Next up is plank ups. Need is starting from 
full plank position, lowering down to elbow plank, and repeat. Halfway there. Next up is good mornings. Okay, and hinging from the hips, lowering down as far as you can go with a straight back and using your glutes and your hamstrings to raise your, your upper body back up again. Giving a little squeeze of the glutes when you're raised up again. Just 10 seconds to go. A little bend in the knee if you need it. And the last exercise is calf raises. Starting with the toes pointed forward, using the wall for balance if you need to. Raising up, trying to stick that landing at the top and alternate, uh, transitioning to toes pointed inwards. A few more reps of that, and we'll move to toes pointing outwards now. And that was it. That was a total body strength workout. Thanks, Anita, for your help. And we'll see you next time at Top of the Hill Fitness. Remember to subscribe for weekly workouts with great art.